I am not going to fight two of you. There we go. Yes, run away, run home. Just like I did. Not, not so fast. I want one of you to stay. Guys, no. Come on. No. <sighs> Fine. Your friends are a bother. Sorry. Well, so much for that. Can I just lure one of them? They are big. They are tough. Yes. Take your original position. Can I just get one of you? Just one. That's all I... Yes. That's all I ask. Your friend's gonna stay? Please tell me he's gonna stay. Come on. I know you like to go far. And I don't like walking backwards. Your friend stays behind. Good. Okay. Perfect. One, two, three. And a poke. No, 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 no. Okay. Perfect. Ah. Uh, okay, we can do this. Just dancing. One, two, and third. Nice. One, two, three. Poke. See, that is much better. Ah. <sighs> yeah. I'm taking things slow, I'm being careful, I'm oh so happy I bought a bow. Oh yes. So, there's only you remaining and a very big area and lots of people died because they were forced to face two of you at the same time. Come on, let's dance. Come on. One, two, three. Poke. One, two, ow, three. No, just aim directly at him. Oh, I need to restore stamina. Come on. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. One, two, three. Oh, oh, that's number four. I forgot about number four. One, two, three. Nice. Oh, mistake, mistake. Ah. Uh, stamina. Keep it in check, keep it in check, keep it in check. One, two, three. And you're dead. Oh, I hear that, I hear that. Where are you, where are you? Oh, God. Okay, um. Life gem. I'd rather keep my SS flask right now. We have this area, which isn't, what the hell is that? What the hell? Is that, can I, how do you zoom in? I thought you could zoom in with stuff. That looks like a dragon wing. It looks scaly. Veiny. Um, yeah. How about... Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, hey. Hi. Did not see you. So there are more of these. Are they all just... Fog wall. That is a boss fight. And we're increasing the arena size. Oh, that is cool. I don't know if the room is filled right now. Might be room for one more, maybe, but that is cool. I like that idea. Not sure if I like the fact that there are lots of enemies on the path to that boss. Try jumping. You're never going to make that. Never. Ever, ever. Um... Yeah, I only have one S. If that is a boss, 
which is looking like. How big is the chance that I'm actually going to succeed with only one Estes? Knowing that this would be an early game boss, I would place your victory rate at about 40%. Less than favorable in the end. I don't think it's that high. I really don't think it is. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna restock on stuff. Then we're gonna try again with maybe a little bit more experience right now. Because we know what we're doing. Or so I hope. And with a bit more luck. And also in the meantime, yes, you've been kind, but still. Might be better for you to just go away. Just maybe. Oh dear. Yeah, you certainly... Ow! Okay. Maybe. Maybe. This was a mistake. No. Hmm. I know that trick. I know that trick quite well. Come on. One. No. No. You won't. Okay, maybe you will. Okay, die. Just die. Those guys are really not to be underestimated. <laughs> and I am terribly doing that. Dear God. Back to Medulla. Back to safety. Ah. Can we level up, please? Bear. Seek soul, seek, seek the Lest king, less is land. We have enough. Must be, right? Yes, thought so. Is more endurance going to help me? Or more vigor? Hmm. Yeah. A little bit of endurance, maybe. Extra stamina is always helpful. Let's do it. Which means, let's continue our adventure once more. I do know one thing, and I can safely say that at this point. Uh, Dark Souls 2 feels a lot harder than Dark Souls 1 to me right now. Because big enemies and lots of small enemies at the same time. And yeah, I still have a lot left to learn if I want to succeed here. Oh yes. A slight change of plan of what we were originally planning to do. Um, yeah, the thing is, I am running into two issues. On one hand, the turtles in the Carnal Bonfire Tower, all the way over there in that direction. They were incredibly tanky, difficult to beat, and yeah, just a general pain in the ass. The big knights over here by Heidi's Tower of Flame, on the other hand... Also, incredibly tanky, dangerous, lots of them taking a lot of my S's away. Uh, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good at all. And the thing is, during the editing process, around three weeks or something or even more have passed by now since I recorded the last episode, or this episode, the end. Let's just say that heat waves suck. Especially when you don't want your recordings to be messed up by the sound of a fan blowing into the microphone. And, yeah, I have noticed that I skipped a few doors. A few doors that were supposed to be unlocked by using the soldier key. Open soldier's door in the forest of the giants. There were multiple doors and I only opened one of them. So, my plan as follows is to go back there. Uh, not how he's our flame, forest of fallen giants, the carnal tower. And I actually want to do several things here. One of them being that I want to cure my hollowing state. And I don't want to do that by using a human effigy. No, I want to do it by using the... Where is it? You guys might already know. I want to use the white sign soapstone. I don't fully know if this is going to work for us. We might have to wait a little bit. But... If I help someone out, apparently I turn human again. Like, all SS charges restock, all the health completely restores. So I thought, why not try and defeat the fallen or the last giant again? Might be fun. 
So first up, you taking care of your shenanigans. There we go. So we had this door over here. That's where the turtles were. There also was a door on that side. And there was a door on this side too. So we have several doors. I don't know if any of them are going to react to the key. But we're going to find that out. Because yeah, I would like to f see what I missed. Because maybe I'm supposed to go in those directions. Did I just imagine that or was that a turtle? I am not sure. In any case, um, yeah, this guy over here being the usual bobbery self. There we go. So how do we do this? We place down the white sign soapstone. Others should still be able to see our sign. And also it's nice to go back here. Ah, victory. Victory achieved. Oh yes. So nice to be here. So, well, we'll leave this sign over here. We'll see what happens. Maybe I get summoned. Maybe I don't get summoned. I have no clue how fast that works. Um, we are going to go back to our SS flask. And it's time to go and see where all those doors lead. But first... Um The question, did I see a turtle? Did I? I saw a freaking turtle. Why is there a turtle on top of the elevator? Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, get over here. Hi, how are you doing? A little bit closer. Come on, yes, that's good. That allows me to stab you. Good. Oh. No, you don't. Come on. You can't fit through the door. Oh, nice. Okay, don't fall down. Yeah. My plus three spear is doing a much better job, to be honest. Or at least it feels like it. It deals a little bit more damage. Still not enough, but hey, it works. Still begs the question why the hell there was a turtle on top of here, but uh, I guess we'll just leave it be like that. In any case, um, so we had a door on that side, we had a door on that side, and there was one right over here. So does this also open, or is this related to something else? You are not dead, I know you're not dead. There we go, perfect. This door, please tell me it opens. It opens. Oh, okay, nice. Which means shield up, because I don't know what's around the corner. This was completely blocked off. We have a we have a treasure chest, which is nice. Uh, mimic ring ahead. Um, doesn't look like a mimic. I hope. Oh, thank God. Ring ahead. Ring of Restoration. And three torches. Ooh, that is nice. Okay, let me see. Ring of Restoration. That looks nice. Gradually restores HP. A protective ring passed down in House Osteria. Gradually restores HP. In the sacred land of uh, Lindelt, this ring symbolized prosperity and longevity for the great House Osteria. But the ring is fragile and breaks easily, as if it hates being taken for granted. Okay, well, we are full on rings though. The tiny, the life ring keeps us alive with more health. Blue seal too, chlorine to ring, stone ring. That's all stuff that I kind of require. Plus I don't know how much it restores, but hey, if it actually restores HP over time, that might be nice. Although, eh, do I really need the life ring? Okay, its durability is a lot lower than the others, but hey, if this works and it restores HP over time, that might be nice. So, with this door open, where does that bring us over here? Friend ahead. 
Okay, I... It doesn't look friendly to me. Um, is that the only guy over here? Nothing else? There's an item. Okay. Don't attack me. What is that door? That looks like a really fancy door. Wow. Okay, um... I can attack him, so... Grand Lance. I don't trust this guy. But he's not attacking me. Aha. Uh -huh. So, he is indeed a friend, but if you attack him, yeah, then he gets angry. That makes sense. Okay, so this Grand Lance, or Grand, Grand Lance, I'm not sure how to pronounce. Um, where is it? Right over here, Grand Lance. Uh, can I... A lance fashioned from rare guy steel. Designed for high-ranking Tranlaic knights, hence the decorative design. Guy steel equipment is of the finest make, but guy steel is so rare that few of these weapons were actually used in combat. Okay, it has a lot of durability compared to other stuff. How much does it... Uh, being summoned to another world as a phantom. Yes! Okay, well, time to get busy with killing a knight. Or knight. Busy killing a giant. Hello, Dipper. Greetings. How are you doing? How do we do this? War cry. Oh, this is gonna be cool. So, mild mannered paid and sell sword luets. Are those other players? Well, he looks exactly like uh, Pate. So, uh, we just. Go in and kick some giant butts? Oh, this is cool. World Master Dipper has challenged. Oh god, okay, here we go. Gotta kill a giant. Oh god. Okay, so. I don't want to die. I don't want him to die. I'm still gonna count any deaths that I take in here as normal deaths. Like, sure, I might not lose anything, but... Still, just in case, this is going amazing. So apparently, this is supposed to restore my humanity after we're done. Oh, don't get crushed. No, ow, that, that's getting crushed. That is exactly what getting crushed is. Okay, come on. Oh, and he's dead already. Good job. Yay! Warcry, duty fulfilled. And we indeed completely become human again oh that is nice task returned returning to you a token of fidelity well oh that is really cool and quite useful too i'm not sure what the best way is of doing this summoning stuff seeing how we're recording everything but perhaps we might place a summon sign down more in the future this was fun that is really cool. Also, did we get souls for that? I think we actually just got souls for that. Oh, that is nice. Okay, um... Anyway, where were we? Grand Lance. I want to see. How much does this thing require? Like, I... Can't see it over here. That's... Yeah. So, if I... Take my scimitar, where's the... Grand Lance? Where... Is the thing. 22 strength. My god. Yeah, I am nowhere near that, I believe. No, I have 11 strength. Yeah, how about no? Um. Okay, I see. Did these all. These all were fighting him. Yeah, how about no? Um. Chest, front. Yeah, I think so too. Certainly looks like a chest. And we got Amber, Herb, and Heat does not turn aggressive on me. Nice. Okay, well, um, I guess that is everything over here. I'm liking the summon stuff. 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it myself, only when required to. Like, if I really run into an enemy that I truly can't defeat, then yes, I will maybe summon someone, but... Just leaving my summon sign behind like that, that's actually rather cool. And I do wonder, do we indeed get something as souls for that? Uh, should I leave my sign behind again? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Maybe I can help someone else out. It's jolly cooperation and everyone likes jolly cooperation. Ah, look at that. This is mild-mannered paint. Cool. And this is sellsword luets. So I'm guessing these two are NPCs in that case. Which means I'm gonna leave my sign right over here. Perfect. And that also means that if I leave my sign behind, I can no longer see others. I'm learning stuff. Okay, we are, I think, going back to Majula. And if we get summoned in the meantime, then that is absolutely perfect. After that, I... We have the turtle area and the door on that side. So... Um, well, let's explore the turtle area first. But first, Majula, level up. I don't want to lose my souls. So, your summon sign has disappeared. Okay. So if I leave the area, my summon sign that I leave behind disappears. That is good to know. That is really good to know. Um, Bearer of the yeah, I want level. to level up. What do I want to level up is the next question. Adaptability still is something in my mind, like, uh, the higher the better. Hmm. I don't know, I really don't know, it's... I think I'm just gonna pump it into adaptability, bring it to... 100 or something along those lines, and then... I'll be able to dodge a lot more. So, yes, here we go, perfect, that leaves. A fair amount of souls left, do I want to level up again? Again? Do I have anything to level up again? I got a few souls. Yeah, maybe I should. Okay, that's not gonna be enough, I believe. Gonna need one more at least. That should be enough, right? Please? Be Vera, seek, seek, less this land. I'm gonna repeat that so often with her. In any case, adaptability. Agility to 30 or 93. Sounds good to me. Now, that means turtles. Turtles or the other door. I'm still not sure. Force Fallen Giants, Carnal Tower. And I could still leave my sign behind. I think I. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go to the turtle area. That is where we left off, so that's where we will continue. Because we now have a better spear than before. You stop targeting him, thank you. You, go away. So this area, right over here. With the fire still burning, nice. Oh, that does mean we still need to pass those skeletons. And I'm not sure about passing those skeletons. All these enemies here are really rather dangerous. Um, what's that? Another summon sign. Runes Aflis. Okay, interesting. Uh, don't require anyone, though. Like, okay, maybe I do require someone. But not exactly right now. I can handle this on my own. See? No problem. Now, where were those other skeletons? It's been a while since I've been here. There you are. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, I can kill you in three stabs. That is nice. Can I also backstab you? Sort of. No, you don't. Okay, they have a terrible low poise. <sighs> anyway, let's clear these. Where were the others? Dude, anyone? Skeleton. 
There we go. Okay, that's one, that's two, and... No, you don't. No, you don't. Come on. No, no, and... No. Stop with the bleeding stuff, please. There's not much to penetrate with a spear when it comes to a skeleton. But it works. Okay, what's that? There was a third one, wasn't there? Yes, there was. I knew it. Go. Uh. Wait. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, that means keep my bow ready, because there was a guy out here. Why is this door closed again? Okay. You. Can I... Can I target you? There we go. You. Go. Away. Ow. Well, at least he is away. Um, how am I gonna deal with this? We need to clear the entire area because those turtles, even the ones upstairs there, might form an issue as I'm trying to explore what's over there. So, how are we gonna deal with this? I don't know, but I am more prepared than last time. He may think that he is better prepared to face those turtles, but I don't think that the big guy has forgotten about that warning. Dark spirit ahead. It's only a matter of time till he'll have to deal with that menace. <laughs> 